Hi guys, we are on section 10.2, which is looking at customary capacity. This is volume, this is liquids, you know, we would measure these with our soda or coffee or water, types of liquid that we're going to be looking at capacity, how much capacity they hold, and then we're going to be converting. So what you see here is a bit is what I call the big G. This is the big G. So in your notes, I want you to draw me a great, big, open, gigantic, uppercase G. That G stands for gallons. So inside your gallon, your big G, I want you to draw four big Q's. You can see in mine I have four big Q's. And what this means is that I have four quarts inside one gallon. And then just like you see in mine, I want you to put two P's in each of your Q's. Those P's, they stand for pints. So what this says is that I have two pints in each quart. Inside each of those P's, and it might be hard to see, but there are actually two C's in each P. So go ahead and add that to your notes. And those C's stand for cups. So inside each P, each pint, I have two cups. So one pint is equal to two cups. As always, as you see on the bottom there, we are still using our big to small. You multiply and small to large divide. We are still using that rhyme to help us with our conversion. Up at the top in red, you might also see one cup equals eight ounces. One, some of your conversions might ask you to convert into ounces, so you need to have that conversion. So we're going to get right into some co customary capacity conversions. So as I said, remember, big to small we multiply and small to large divide. For our first conversion that you see in purple, there's 38 cups equals how many pints? PT is an abbreviation for pints. So what I'd like you to do is look at that big G that you made with all of your conversions in it. Your and I want you to tell me what is bigger, a cup or a pint? Now I'm looking at my big G and I notice that a pint is bigger than a cup. And I'll tell you how I know that. You guys see these little C's in here? And then the big old P? Just by font, you can tell which one is larger. Is the P larger or is the C larger? Well, obviously the P is larger than those C's. You can also see there that two C's or two cups is the same as one P. So obviously, the pint test is bigger because you're pouring the cups, the small little cups, into the big old pint. So that means we are going to be going from something small, a cup, to something large, a pint. So underneath, I'm just going to write small, large, to remind my brain. Small to large divide. So that means I'm going to be dividing the number of cups that I have, 38, divided by how many cups are in one pint. Well, according to my conversion here, I can see that there are two cups in one pint. So I'm going to divide 38 by 2. So when I solve this division problem, I get a quotient of 19. So that means I can convert my 38 cups into 19 pints. Let's try another one. So for this problem, I want to convert 32 pints, PTs, into quarts. I want to know how many quarts there are in 32 pints. So again, I'm going to look at my big G and I'm going to determine what is larger, a pint or a quart. Now my pint is inside my quart, according to my big G. So 
So that tells me that a quart is larger than a pint. So again, just like my first problem, I'm going from small to large because my quart is my large one. I put my L, so that means my pint has to be my small one. So again, I'm dividing 32 divided by, and then I look at my big D again, and I need to determine how many pints are in one quart. So I look at one of my Ds, let's look at this one up top, how many P's are in that Q? One, two. So I'm dividing by two. 32 divided by two is 16 quarts. So in 32 pints, I have 16 quarts. Hopefully that big D is helping you out. But we're going to do a couple more together, and then I have a couple for you to do on your own. This next problem that I have here is we're going to be converting five quarts into pints. So again, look at your big D. What is bigger, a quart or a pint? You got it, Batman. My quart is much bigger than my pint. So if my quart is big and my pint is smaller, then I must be going big to small. We, yeah, we multiply, good job. So I'm gonna multiply my number of quarts, my five, times how many pints are in a quart. So I look at my big D and I determine that inside my quart, just like my last problem, I have two pints in my in each quart. So that means I'm going to be multiplying five times two. And it's going to give me ten pints. Let's try one more together. Oh, this one I'm going from three gallons to pints. Oh. Looking at my big G, I can obviously tell that my gallon is my big guy. So that means I'm going big to small, we multiply. So I'm going to multiply my number three, my number of gallons, by how many pints are in one gallon. So I come up to my big G, and I'm going to count. This is one gallon, right? And I'm going to count how many pints are within this one gallon? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times three is 24. These next two green ones here, I would love to see you solve on your own. So here are the answers that I came up with. I've determined for our first one here that gallons are definitely more than quarts. So big to small, we multiply. So I multiplied 12 gallons by four quarts in each gallon to give me 48 quarts. For my second problem, I determined that a cup is bigger than an ounce. So I multiplied my three cups times my eight ounces that are in one cup and I determined that three cups is equal to 24 ounces. So I hope you guys realize that to solve these problems, I use this big D. I use the big D and what's in it. So please remember, whenever you are doing these problems with customary capacity, to jot this big G down on your notes to help you to remember those conversions. It really is helpful. As always, mark yourself on your learning scale on top of your notes. It's a 4, a 3, a 2, a 1. Any and all questions, I will be happy to answer for you tomorrow in class.